IRS B-1 fabrication specification uses terms like normalized steel, fully killed steel, and semi-killed steel, etc. As bridge professionals, we are supposed to have an understanding of these terms. Let's understand them in this video one by one, starting with normalizing. Normalizing is a process in steel manufacturing where cooling of material is done rapidly in still air with an aim to achieve finer grain structure and uniformity in material. Its primary objectives include improving mechanical properties, such as hardness and strength, as desired in our structural steel. For railway and highway bridges, normalized steel is to be used. In the context of metals, sometimes a term called annealing is also used. We should know the difference between normalizing and annealing. In annealing process, metal is cooled at a slower cooling rate in furnace, which creates a coarser grain structure. Annealing finds extensive use in industries requiring softened materials, such as in the manufacturing of aluminum, and copper products. On one hand, normalizing aims to improve strength and toughness, while annealing aims to improve ductility and workability. To summarize, it can be said that normalized steel is cooled rapidly in air, while annealed steel is cooled slowly in a furnace. Normalized steel is generally harder and stronger, while annealed steel is more ductile. Correction slip number 12 of IRSB1 prescribes for use of normalizing or normalizing rolling or controlled rolling structural steel for quality B, 0, BR, and C. These qualities are primarily used in construction of railway bridges, highway bridges, etc., which are basically the structures subjected to critical loading. So for railway and highway bridges, normalized steel is to be used. IRS B1 specification also uses terms fully killed and semi-killed steel. Now let's understand what is meant by these terms. During manufacturing process of steel, oxygen is blown in molten steel to remove excess carbon from it. As a result, some oxygen remains trapped in steel. It is necessary to remove this oxygen because excess oxygen can create significant defects like blowholes, gas bubbles, within the solidified steel, significantly compromising its strength and quality. In order to remove this oxygen, deoxidizing process is initiated by adding deoxidizing agents such as silicon, aluminum, or manganese. In fully killed steel, all of this oxygen is removed while in semi-killed steel, not all of this oxygen is removed. Some oxygen remains in semi-killed steel, causing a controlled amount of gas evolution during solidification. Quality of fully killed structural steel is superior to semi-killed steel. In order to remember this concept, you can consider the fact that killed steel is without any oxygen. Without oxygen, life cannot survive and someone gets killed if oxygen is not made available to him or her. That's why a steel without oxygen is called killed steel. IRSB1 ACS12 stipulates use of fully killed steel for critical loading structures which are built with qualities B0, BR, and C, while it allows semi-killed steel only for quality A steel, which is used for non-critical loading structures like foot over bridges. That was all on the current topic. Tell us your topic in comments section. Subscribe for more such content.